Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today we're talking about stink bombs. That's right. I got me some classic stink bombs. Now this one is from the Rhode Island Novelty Company. It says, what a stinker. Um, also, there's little cautions all over here. It's an irritant. Um, contains ammonium sulfide. Avoid contact with uh, skin and eyes. Ammonium sulfide by itself is actually extremely toxic. It's very flammable and it is very explosive. Um, but in this form, it's mixed with water, okay? So, uh, yeah, back in the day, in uh, high school, I want to say freshman year, possibly sophomore year, these became very, very popular, these stink bombs, and kids were doing them pretty much daily for weeks on end until they finally had a huge crackdown. And if you recall, with one of these things, you're expelled. I forget what it was, a week or something like that. It was a big deal because they literally were going off every single day. And when it was trapped inside the hallways in my school, there's no fresh air going through there, so it would stick around for a half an hour or so, and it would be pretty bad. Really, really bad smell. And uh, at first, it was hilarious. Yeah, no, it stinks in here, it's funny. Um, but after a while, it got, got pretty old, but kids wouldn't, they wouldn't cut it out, so they had to really crack down on them. So uh, what is this, exactly? What is this stink bomb? So as the box says, it is ammonium sulfide, that's the active ingredient here. But the solution is ammonium sulfide in water, because ammonium sulfide is a powder. So what they do is they mix that chemical with water and it's contained in this vial. All right, so let's see, the vial says caution irritant. It says contains ammonium sulfide, not a toy, keep out of the reach of children. Okay, and it is, it's not a toy. Kids should not be playing with this, but fortunately that's who ends up getting them because I don't know many adults who buy stink bombs and set them off in their office. <laughs> so anyway, uh, how this works again is you see the vial here. The liquid can be um, transferred over from one side to the other, you see tapping, because it's a very small neck here. But that's the breaking point. This is a very weak point in the bottle. So what you do is you turn them upside down, tap it so that it's kind of half in one section, half in the other. And you would throw this, stomp on it, drop it. It is a very fragile, thin glass vial. And it would normally break right here, but a lot of times when you threw it at something or or stomped on it, the whole vial would just crush and release this solution. Now the solution, when it mixes with air, creates uh, ammonia and hydrogen sulfide gases, which in turn stinks. It has a very specific rotten egg smell. It's horrific. Now if you do this outside, it lasts a few seconds, okay? Cool little breeze comes, it's gone. You know what I mean, 10, 15 seconds at most. It's extremely strong, uh, right where the uh, you know affected area is. Or if you actually break this open, it, it is horrifically strong uh, smelling. But like I said, outside quickly dissipates. Inside is a whole different story because you don't have that fresh air that's moving it along. So it will literally, one of these little vials will fill an entire room, like a 15 by 20 foot room easily. If you're talking about a hallway, it'll fill the whole hallway. Um, as far as uh, price on these things, they are extremely cheap. <laughs> like I said, back in the day, they were even cheaper. Uh, right now, you can get a... Yeah, actually, you get these by the case. I don't even know if you could buy just one because it's so you know so cheap. There are three packs in these boxes, but I think it's like ten bucks for thirty-six vials or something like that, or you know a whole case of them. They're pretty damn cheap. Now, uh, besides stink bombs, there was also fart bags. Now I don't have an example here for you, but I would have loved to eventually get these for my niece, who would love to play with this kind of stuff because these, being glass, inherently is dangerous. There's a couple things going on here. Number one. Um, it's glass, so when it breaks, you have sharp little shards of glass. They're very thin. Uh, you can step on it, get it in your foot. If you um, obviously handle it after it's broken, you can cut your hands. Uh, that the material or the uh, liquid itself is, uh, like I said, an irritant. It irritates the skin. You can get uh, very light burns from handling it. So yeah, that's not for kids. But the fart bags uh, were essentially a little pouch, and inside the pouch was like vinegar. You know, or I think it was actually baking powder, baking soda uh, in the pouch, and then inside was a little bag of vinegar. So what you did was you pinched it, and it would pop the vinegar bag, releasing the vinegar and the baking soda together, right? And that would create gases, as we all know from our science experiments, you know, making our volcanoes from, you know, fourth grade or fifth grade, whatever that was. And the bag would inflate, and as the bag would inflate, eventually it would build up too much pressure and it would pop. So you had these flat bags, you would squeeze them, you'd feel the thing burst open inside, then they would start to grow. And then boom, they'd pop. And they'd have a very small amount of this liquid in here. Okay, so it would release that liquid into the air. Uh, the, the, what you're actually touching, you know, the leftover foam inside the bag was harmless. 
it would stink for a couple seconds and it'd be done with, you know, but it was kind of the fun, uh, exciting moment of when's it gonna pop because it starts really filling up with that, those gases, you know? Those are fun for kids and those kids can play with. But I mean like little, little kids, obviously you don't want them eating it or putting it in their mouth, so you're not talking, you know, two or three year olds, but you know, I don't know, five to 10, something like that. It's really fun. These, not so much. This, this was more of a teenager's fun. So obviously you have the inherent danger of the broken glass when using these, but they're very effective and they were super cheap. So uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what's really interesting? The uh, ammonium sulfide itself is actually used in cigarettes as a flavoring agent. Yeah, believe it or not. I know cigarettes don't taste like rotten eggs, um, but it is one of the hundreds of chemicals that go into cigarettes. And I believe they also use ammonium sulfide uh, in some food products out there as well. But just an interesting thing, uh, kind of a blast from the past. I saw these on Amazon. I think I might eventually get the fart bags. Like I said, I want my niece to uh, experience that kind of fun. This is all like pre-PC stuff. You know what I mean? We live in the political correctness age and God forbid, you, you know, you have a fart bomb or a, a stink bomb, you know, for kids to uh, laugh at because it smells. Uh, I don't believe in that. <laughs> I don't believe in uh, being PC. So I am gonna buy a big batch of fart bags for my niece and she will have a hell of a time playing with them. But I thought I'd make this video just uh, talking about this. Um, like I said, just a blast in the past. If you haven't seen this, or you don't know about this, and now you do. All right, so at this point in the video, I just wanna give you a big fat warning. Because of the world we live in today, Let's say hypothetically you go out in public and hypothetically you drop one of these things on the ground and it smells, you know, with the world we live in today, I wouldn't be surprised if you were arrested for a terroristic attack of biological chemicals. Who the hell knows, right? So be careful with this. If you want to experiment with this kind of stuff, use some common sense um, and do it at your own expense on your own property with people you know who know you're going to do it. So there you go. Uh, maybe this warning is unnecessary, but I should say it anyway, just in case, because you don't know what people are going to do. So the video here is just for fun, and it's just to tell you that they used to be fun back when we could have fun in society. But we can't have fun in society anymore. Too many uptight people, so uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this with strangers. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon.